Good day folks, Boda Bob here. Uh, last week I showed you the SB1500 from Lawry, a saw buck made from steel that will hold 1500 pounds according to their marketing material. And uh, I don't think I put it to the test because my tractor will only pick up 400 pounds to uh, full height, approximately 400 pounds. Um, and it will uh, break, it has a breakout force of 800 pounds that it can lift. So there's no way I put anything close to 1,500 pounds on that saw buck, but you know, it's good to know that it'll hold what I can put on it. So with that being said, I wanna show you something that Lograte also offers for the SB1500. Let me uh, adjust the camera here so you can see. So this is the SB1500 with their tabletop on top. Now it's more than just a board. It's made out of, uh, it looks like birch or some kind of quality plywood. Very few voids. I think I saw one void on one side and uh, it comes unfinished. I put a coat of uh, polyurethane on it. And uh, I think it's going to make a nice little workbench for uh, out in the field. So there you go. It'll uh, allow me to put my saw up here and work on it. Check the plug, filter, or anything like that. Fuel it if I want to fuel it from here. It just adds and it, it gives me another place to... Uh, work on things or hold tools next to uh, my work projects. So uh, it's just going to add to the versatility of this uh, tool here around the house. So um, yeah, I just wanted to show you. So the, uh, the 1500, the saw buck is under 200, the tabletop is under 100. So for less than $300, you can, and I think that includes shipping, getting it here. Uh, for less than $300, you'd have a really nice uh, workbench for the field, including a saw buck to, uh, to boot. Now, this is more than just a piece of wood that's been cut to fit. Let me show you how it goes on. So what they did, they created this metal angle that fits into the, let me see here. So they got these brackets on each end. This metal piece here is welded in place. And what it does, the metal goes in between the two uprights and keeps it from sliding. So you just put that on there like that. It doesn't move either direction and that easy to, to put on and off so it's you know yeah it's it's um I think around 80 bucks plus shipping it might be a little more it might be a little less I forget the details um, but I think it's going to make a great accessory piece I need to accessorize my SB 1500 and so this is what I got to accessorize the Lograte SB 1500 straight from Lograte and uh, I personally think it's a, a good deal um, I would have never my currently I shouldn't say never but currently I don't have the skills and the ability to make something like that I could make a board sit it on top and try to keep it from moving back and forth but nothing as elegant as this. I know saying elegant and forestry doesn't really go together, but it does. Um, I'm sorry, folks, my camera keeps shutting off. I don't know what is wrong with it. The batteries are not dead. So um, I got a great big battery hanging off of it. And uh, maybe there's something wrong with the camera. I did buy a second camera. Anyhow, uh, the camera keeps shutting off. That being said, you know, this, again, this is just a uh, tabletop that goes with the SB1500. 
1500 saw buck from Law, buck, Law Gray and uh, I just got it in the mail uh, yesterday and put a coat of varnish on it. I'm going to put one more coat on it today and uh, yeah I look forward to uh, using it in the field. So that being said, hey friends, you know what to do. You're professionals. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it with a friend and comment down below. Tell me what you think about this SB1500 and the tabletop. Did I spend too much money? Less than $300, I'd say. Or is it, um, is it a good value? I think it's got value. You know, I know it won't work for everybody, but for a person who doesn't have um, a means of getting the wood up off the ground and cutting it in another way, this is a good solution for me. Um, I can sit a log on here with my fork list, my pallet forks, and uh, go from there. If I had a skid steer, I tell you what, there's a, a channel that uh, I watch, um, Senior Woodhound, and I forget the whole uh, title, they're down in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia, and uh, Senior Woodhound, boy, they got a nice setup with uh, a log splitter, log processor that uh, hooks right up to their skid steer, and uh, really, really nice, um, nice um, setup. But unfortunately, I don't have that, and uh, don't can't say I never will, but at this point, I got my BX, and a few attachments and a chainsaw and uh, make the best of it. So this is what I found to, to get the job done for a young couple, a young man uh, wanting to uh, uh, cut firewood. You don't have to um, get it up off the ground when you're young, but as you get older, um, getting it up off the ground might help you. So this is what my solution and uh, thought I'd share it with you. With that being said, Hey folks, have a good day. You know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, share it with a friend, and until next time, cheers.